He got his glucose monitor. Continuous glucose monitor. Yeah, so I just got my Dexcom G6. G6. It's right here in there. And the best part about this, guys, it's I didn't pay nothing for it because my insurance covered everything. I really thought that because the year started and I didn't meet my deductible yet that I would have to pay for it, but no. So I got all three components and my insurance covered everything. So here we have the receiver, we have the sensors, three of them, and they come with the machines. So that's enough for 10 days. Each one is 10 days, so that's 30 days. So that's one month of supply on there. I wish there was a way to reuse that, but it is what it is. So we have three of these. Starter guide right there. Yes, yeah, so I don't know if you can see, this is a transmitter right there. So we have all three components. The transmitter come with charging cable, um, USB charging cable. Oh, you get cases for it too. They send you cases for it too. Whoa, I'm impressed right there. You also have a USB charger, wall charger right there. That is pretty impressive, I like this. Also went ahead while I was there, I got some wipes to make sure you clean the area that you're gonna use it. I got these waterproof barriers right there, but I, I went ahead and ordered one. I went ahead and ordered some from Amazon that come in with the holes already cut out. These have no holes, but my plan is to keep it on there to see if I can get more days um, out of it. So hopefully I can get at least with one, if I can get at least um, more, probably 20 days on there. Some people do, then we're gonna try this also. So we're gonna make sure we cover the area. So I'm gonna put it on my left, I'm gonna put it on my left side because it's easier to put in for me if I'm alone putting it on my left side. And also I sleep on my right side, more on my right side. So that's why I'm gonna put it on. Some people put it on the arm right, right here. Some people put it at the back. It's up to you, I guess. But for me, most people put it right there. So we're gonna put it right there. So she's gonna clean it up. Just like that. Just like that. That's it. So we're gonna pull this, pull out the sticky parts on there. I'm gonna take this. Need to pull this right. Not yet. Stick this on. Stick the little knob. I want to show you guys this. Kind of pull this out. Button. This button right here. I'm just gonna push it in. Oh, whoa! And there we go. Voila! It's in. So it's in. So we're gonna take the transmitter, just clean the bottom part, leave it. Okay, that's it. Let's let it dry out. Remember when you pull this out, that number right there, you're gonna keep that number because that's a number that's important. You have to make sure you have that number. And we're gonna take the transmitter. And then you push it back in. So the back goes in first and two snaps and it's in. So we're gonna set up the receiver and we're also gonna download the app from the app store on there so we're gonna have it two places but most likely I'm gonna be using my my smartphone. So basically the, 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 the one, this one is gonna walk you through it. So on hers right now she's installing the, the code that came underneath this. In my case on my new note that I just installed a new version of, of Android on there it's telling me that I'm Dexcom I've not tested this app on this Android version. So it's installed, you can see right there the sensor is installed, we got it. So it's gonna take a, it's gonna take two hours for the sensor to warm up and start getting the results in. There will be no, I'll receive no information until the two, two hours is up, so we're gonna wait for that and go. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try to find a device because all my phones I have right now is running the latest versions of, of, um, of Android 10, so they're not compatible, so I can't get the apps to work. So I might have to find an older device to put it on.